Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm Chef Corso from Monte Boca, and we're here to cook elevated brunch. And we are here in uh, Seattle, Washington, here at a little mini park in the East Lake uh, neighborhood here. Sun is shining a little bit. It's a little bit chilly. We are anxiously waiting for spring to come here because it was frosty last night. Like we need some 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 temperatures to get up because man, it's been chilly. But what we're gonna do today is elevate our brunch. And I think breakfast is a really great opportunity to add some really great flavor to our meals. And uh, most of the time, breakfast is just an afterthought. Like great, I'll just take another packet of oatmeal and call it good and get on my get on my way but it's a great opportunity to give you some really great uh, fuel in order to fuel your day um, on your trek so what we're going to do today is make dirt bag eggs benedict and a couple dirt bag drinks we're gonna make a dirt bag mimosa and a dirt bag bloody mary and quickly on dirt bag is if you know what a dirt bag is then you know that it's all right you live out of a van you're a little grimy you don't really care about getting dirty but you might be thinking that dirt bag sounds terrible and like why why they're putting dirt and it's grimy and they're putting that in my english muffin with my eggs no it just means that it's like a poor man's version it's a, a dirt bag version and that we're just not going to be super fancy about it but it's still going to be really good so First off, hopefully you'll be able to uh, cheers along with me, but we're gonna make our dirt bag mimosa. So this is a great recipe because it's two things. We need either a can or a bottle of bubbles. I usually prefer like taking the can, it's easier to pack in and pack out. This has a lot of pack out weight. And we need a small mandarin, cutie, satsuma, anything like that. And all we're gonna do crack our bubbles. And if you have a campy camp cup, that's great. Or if you don't have that, you can just squeeze it right in. And there you have it. <laughs> Not too complicated but we've got a delicious mm, dirt bag mimosa, but make sure to put some sort of orange or citrus or juice in there. You can also jazz it up with some pomegranate or pineapple or anything like that. But if you just drink champagne in the morning, apparently it's not okay and you might have a problem. So make sure to put some sort of juice or citrus in there because that somehow makes it okay. So cheers. Oh man, and I don't know about you, but that is a great way to start the morning if you are 10, 20 miles in. Pretty, pretty awesome. All right, so let's get- Lots of thumbs up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's get going with our dirt bag eggs benedict. So a couple ingredient call outs for here. We, now that we are hydrating this morning, we're gonna need to do a little bit of hydrating before we, we, we get going here. So we've got our hollandaise packet, which is in most gravy aisles. You might just not have seen it before, but this hydrates with some water and a little bit of oil and then eggs. So we are gonna be using powdered eggs today. There's two options for eggs, which is whole eggs. If you have that luxury, if you're cooking at home with us or if you're car camping, but, and the thing about this is you can pack this along in your pack, but it's just a little bit risky because you never know if you're gonna be coming, coming in in the morning and you've got broken yolks. So we're gonna go ahead and use powdered eggs today just to kind of show you what that looks like. And most people are in two camps with powdered eggs. One, they've never seen them before and don't know that they exist. Or two, they think they're terrible, which sometimes they are. But I will say they are a great protein source that are extremely light and extremely versatile. And if you add some meat, if you add some garlic, or if you add a few vegetables, the, the, the kind of crappy package flavor goes away. So what we're gonna do is hydrate these. So 
little bit of water for our hollandaise and some oil. If you're cooking at home, you could easily have some butter as well, but follow the package instructions. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of salt in here as well. Maybe a little bit of salt in our eggs. And we're gonna hydrate it with a little bit of lemon. And this is gonna go a long way to be able to really freshen up this dish. Give it a nice little pop. And that lemon goes specifically in the hollandaise sauce, not the eggs. Lemon specifically goes in the hollandaise sauce, yeah. So we're just gonna stir that up, let that hydrate. But powdered eggs are a really great backcountry pantry staple to have around. Because if you're really jonesing for some extra calories and you don't wanna have oatmeal and you don't wanna have sugar or just more trail mix, is adding some powdered eggs to any dish really gives you some nice extra calories to keep you going. Really lightweight for carrying on the trail as well. Nice. So we're gonna let those sit for around five minutes. And while we're doing that, let me clean up my station here. If you're just joining us this morning, we are making some dirt bag eggs Benedict. We've already made a dirt bag mimosa with just a can of champagne and a squeeze of a satsuma. Speaking of that, uh, phenomenal. So we're gonna let those two hydrate and let's go over and make our other drink for the morning is our Campy Bloody Mary, our Campy Mary. So what we're gonna do today for, for this guy is actually make it uh, virgin, so, so no alcohol, but you could easily pack a little mini uh, airplane bottle of vodka or tequila if you wanna make it uh, Maria. You, you choose your own adventure with, with this guy, but it all starts with a can of tomato juice. And what I've done here is packed in some of my jazzy um, jazzy bloody mary options to add on top so of course we've got a celery stick we've got a couple these packable cheese pieces we've got these really handy little olive packets and maybe you want to throw in a couple baby carrots on top because it's amazing to have a salad on top of your Bloody Mary. And the other thing I'm, I have here is a Lanyanger. So if you don't know what a Lanyanger is, uh, we've got this available on uh, montiboca.com on our packing page. But this is basically a walking meat stick. It's a dried meat stick. It's fermented. And it's basically the best Slim Jim you've ever had. And it look a little bit like this. They can get a little bit dry. But they look a little bit like that. But these are amazing. Go ahead and just throw that in there. Cambodian Cowboy says, I spy Old Bay. <laughs> Old Bay goes on everything. It sure does. <laughs> so to make our Mary, we'll crack our baby, baby can of tomato juice. For here, we're gonna use a little bit of Old Bay, but if you have some random celery salt hanging out, that's a really great option as well. Everyone's so excited for Old Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Old Bay all day. And what I'll do here just to jazz this up, I'm sure you've got a few of these string cheese sticks hanging around if you've got some kiddos, but you know, maybe a, oh, eat that guy. Sure, dunk that in there. And what I did here is I made uh, a quick little skewer this morning and that way I can skewer some of my other ingredients on here so I get that nice bloody experience <laughs> and if you're just joining us uh, welcome to the Mappy Hour crew the North Face crew Monte Boca crew any kind of crew you're in today joining us with some dirt bag mimosas 
a campy Bloody Mary, and we'll be cooking Dirtbag Eggs Benedict here. Question is, what kind of meat is in that jerky? Oh, good question. It's actually a, a mix of pork and beef, but different companies have, have different, different mixes. Hmm. Awesome. I'll throw that in there. And we've got a little bit of lemon here too, so maybe I'll throw a little bit of lemon juice, give it a nice amount of acid. If you like it spicy, you can go ahead and, and add some, maybe a little bit of a little bit of sriracha or a hot sauce packet or those little mini bo bottles of Tabasco go a long way too. So we'll just mix that up. And we've got a dirt bag Bloody Mary. Tasty. That'll really get you going. Let's give it a whirl. Oh yeah, fantastic. So now that we have our two beverages already, we're gonna go ahead and make our eggs Benedict. So one thing I have done here uh, for the for overall time is I have toasted my English muffins. And one great tip if you're cooking inside or outside is toast your bread, toast your muffs, toast your tortillas. I, if you've watched any of our, our other YouTube channels, I say this a lot, but toast is not bread and bread is not toast. Like there's, they are in the same family. Obviously they're the same thing, but they are not the same thing because toast is amazing and bread is bread. So this nice toast is gonna give you some really great flavor and some really nice crunch. And I will say too, on a, a longer trip, if you have the time to toast it, it's gonna really, really be impactful and really, really tasty. So toasted those earlier, chopped up my ham here. So I have a ham slab here, but if you do have some deli ham, that can work too. But also I wanna zoom in here. So this is what our powdered eggs look like. They turn into kind of a thick, thick mix here. And then as far as our packet of hollandaise, it's nicely hydrated as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get rolling. And what I'm using today for my burner is an MSR wind burner with the skillet attachment to be able to toast my English muffins this morning. Also to note, if you are gluten-free or you don't have specific English muffins, bread works great, or uh, gluten-free or keto bread works really well uh, as well, depending on your dietary uh, restrictions. So go ahead and change that out based on what, what works for you. But, uh, if you do have a chimney style stove like this guy, which I know a lot of you guys have out there, is what I would recommend for this one. We've got a little bit of oil. Go ahead and throw our ham in and we're gonna just saute that up, cook that up and get some nice color and nice flavor on there. Is the, the tough part about these is they don't have a ton of surface area, right? So putting in bread or a muffin, is just not gonna quite work and it's gonna be a little bit cumbersome. So what I would suggest for a chimney style stove is make some croutons or make it into a bowl situation. So it's gonna be even more mixed together, but you could break apart this English muffin with some oil or your bread and be able to toss it around with your ham and eventually your eggs to be able to make a nice mishmash situation to so still give you kind of the same experience. Our ham is cooking up nicely. While that is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up some green onions. And don't be afraid of, uh, of, of packing green onions when you, when you go out on your trips. This will last for two, three, four days. That's gonna give you some nice freshness. Cooking up well. And the other thing about packing ham is it's actually a pretty great, easy packable option because it's already cooked and it's vacuum sealed. So from an overall food safety perspective, 
it, it's pretty darn good. I maybe wouldn't uh, cook it and, and have it on, on day five of my trip, but I will leave that up to you on what you're comfortable with. Okay, so our ham is cooked up and we're gonna go ahead and add our egg. So we are gonna make a ham and egg scramble. I'm not suggesting that you guys poach eggs 20 miles in and 5,000 feet up. So we're doing a little bit of a hack here to try to get the same experience and flavor without having exactly the same thing. And what we're looking for here is for these eggs to, to cook up just like scrambled eggs. And as you can see that water starts to evaporate and these curdle up pretty quick. If you have any questions on this dish, go ahead and throw them over. But we've got over a hundred trail tested recipes, all online, all free, quick, easy download. So check those out for elevated breakfast. If you have a dietary restriction, we have dairy free, vegan, vegetarian because I want you to be able to eat well outside. Doesn't matter what your trip is or what your dietary restriction or what your group size is. And this recipe, the Sturt Bag Eggs Benedict recipe is online. Nice. All right. So they look like eggs. They look like eggs. So this is what powdered eggs look like when they, when they are hydrated properly and cook up. So what we're going to do just to save some pot and don't have to do multiple dishes is I'm going to move that to the side and then I'm going to throw in my holidays. And I know you, what you may be thinking right now is that, man, that looks a little bit weird and a little bit watery. It doesn't even look like holidays at all. Well, just give it a few minutes because there's some nice starch in these packets and it's going to thicken up really nicely so this is going to i'm going to keep on stirring this and cook this up for about a minute or two and then we'll go ahead and finish so we'll do some movie magic over here and get you a moment of serenity on this beautiful saturday morning in east lake seattle washington it's pretty calm on the lake but you can definitely hear those geese it's a little loud. Let's go see how that hollandaise is cooking up. So other elevated breakfast recipes that we do have uh, are some uh, uh, really great different tasty oatmeals and we're actually going to be doing that next weekend. Instead of your just apple cinnamon packet, we've got some great uh, breakfast burrito options, either with some uh, soy rizzo or chorizo, or also some just dehydrated black beans and some eggs and avocado and cheese. That is a really great way to start your day as well. And again, if you're just joining us, uh, hello to the Mappy Hour crew, the North Face crew, Monte Boca crew, everyone that's joining in on their own. We are in the end stages of cooking Dirt Bag Eggs Benedict, a fancy meal that can actually be made in one pot on your camping trip. Sweet. All right. So let's go ahead and get a zoom in on here because this hollandaise is done and it's thickened up. So just in a few minutes, that thickened up really nicely. Give that a taste. Mm. Really tasty and that little bit of lemon in there goes a long way. So what I'm gonna do here, let me get my other utensil here, is just finish these up. 
put a nice portion of our ham and eggs. And if you're sitting out there and you're a vegetarian or vegan, or you have a friend that is and wants to go along on the uh, go along on the trip as well, we have a couple great options for some sautéed spinach, some tomato breakfast sandwiches, or some uh, fake meat breakfast sandwiches that are absolutely delicious and can be cooked alongside this, so everyone has a great breakfast. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some nice. Hollandaise. Oh my goodness. That Hollandaise thickened up really nicely. And then we'll hit it with a little bit of green onion. And if you want to hit it with a little bit of black pepper as well, or a little hot sauce. Mm. But there you have it. Dirt bag eggs Benedict in just about 10 to 15 minutes. Cheers and along with our dirt bag Bloody Mary and our dirt bag mimosa. Hope you're doing well out there. Hope you have a great day today. Hopefully this can fuel you through your day. Me and these geese over here are gonna hang out for a little bit and cook this or eat this. Uh, but join us on Tuesday for our next session. We are doing lunch again, and I can't actually remember what we're making. But stay tuned. Check the website for uh, the next shopping list, the next ingredients. Uh, for Tuesday's meal, you can definitely cook along with us. All the recipe ingredients are online along with instructions, so you can get that all prepped and ready to eat with us and cook with us next time. But we are, uh, we are cooking up at 12 noon Pacific time and 3 p.m. Eastern time. But check out montiboca.com for more packing tips, more recipes. Check out mappyhour.org. There's a bunch of different uh, uh, sections uh, in different cities around the country. So check that out for more outdoorsy outdoor stuff. But cheers, enjoy, and see you next time. Boca Boca.